good evening hello this is kevin back again after a long break my friends today i'm going to take a chapter for you guys that is tom sawyer from the ninth class syllabus it's an excerpt from the famous novel tom sawyer written by the famous author mark twain tom sawyer is a story about a young guy who grows up from a teen enters into adolescence and the changes that happen it's actually going ahead and explaining us the beauty of the adolescence the teenage the childhood encompassed in a kid's life this is an excerpt where actually tom stops getting interest in his classes he stops gaining stuff he stops going ahead and attending the sessions he seems to be lost somewhere around in his own world the main reason being his colleague a classmate that is becky thatcher not coming to the school to attend the sessions now my friend storm here has sort of infatuation for our dear becky he stops taking interest in his classes he roams around doesn't pay his attention to the things going around and this is noticed by his aunt polly aunt polly being a strict lady wants tom to go ahead and start paying attention to the sessions that he's attending to the classes to the lessons that he's being taught thus she is a bit alarmed my friend here we can see that aunt polly is a person who is strict whereas tom sawyer the protagonist of the novel the main lead is a person who is quite mischievous quite ambiguous dexterous doesn't sit at a place at a time my friend yet these two different personalities share a strong bond of love although tom was living with his aunt and aunt's son yet this fellow here had a great bond with this strict lady vice versa aunt polly too had a special bonding for tom she was alarmed about the condition that he was going through she knew that there was something wrong and he was missing becky who wasn't coming to the school since she had fallen ill aunt becky here tried all sort of remedies strenuous speaking ordering requesting tom to go ahead and attend the sessions and pay attention to the heeds that he needs to comply yet the last resort that she plans now is a painkiller a syrup that she starts giving to tom tom being a person here holds a dexterous mindset my friends he goes ahead and starts taking the syrup aunt polly here was amazed because it was really painstaking taking that bitter syrup she knew it yet she admired the fact that tom actually redeemed and took the syrup without any problems later on my friends she comes to know that he was filling the crack in the attic now we come to know here that although tom had been taking the medicine from his aunt yet he was filling it out in a crack on the floor now here it shows about the dexterous and ambiguity that tom goes ahead and shares with himself he muses himself with certain things certain mischiefs that he is doing out there thus my friends this is a chapter where mark twain has an given as an excerpt it's coming from the famous novel written by him that is named as tom sawyer let's have a few question and answers over here she was filled with gratitude when she tested the new medicine as it was simply fire in liquid form her troubles were instantly addressed tom's indifference was spoken and tom was responding well well the best point over here is that it was simply fire in a liquid form the syrup that she's 
talking about that that the question is about is about the painkiller the syrup that tom was to be consumed like time tom was instructed by aunt to have it she knew that the syrup would be pure fire in a liquid form and no person would be able to consume it without an agony or pain my friends here Tom's mind had drifted away because obviously Tom's mind had drifted away because it was Becky Thatcher who had stopped coming to the school my friends Tom had a simple infatuation for this girl and he really wished her in fact she was the reason that Tom attended the sessions in order to go ahead and have a glimpse of her a view of her you know my friends this happens in adolescence the platonism the crush that we usually have on certain person of the opposite sex that's what tom experienced over here the next question goes as aunt polly was concerned because yes aunt polly was concerned because tom had lost interest in anything he used to go ahead and heed to anything that used to come to him that he initially had participated with open mindedness and happiness around my friends now mending the health of a crack means obviously mending the health of a crack <laughs> it's actually a humorous term it was Tom who was pouring the medicine in the crack on the floor it's beautifully explained over here by Mark Twain that he was mending the crack on the floor by saying like mending the health as if the floor is sick sort of and the syrup that was being poured into it was filling in the crack and healing the sickness that was being experienced by the floor humorous sounds it yes now infatuation means fond of uh, melancholy means sad and certain petrified means horrified certain meanings over here gravity is mischievous now Tom was not really ill but he pretended to be ill here the summary of the story comes Tom did not like going to the school because his classmate Becky Thatcher had fallen ill she was not attending the classes thus Tom too had lost interest in attending the sessions or attending the classes. He had lost interest in various things that he used to charm earlier. Thus the best thing to avoid going to the classes was pretending to be fallen ill. So he had gone ahead and built up a plan, a master plan I should rather say in his mind where he pretends to be ill aunt polly here becomes concerned that the fellow who has been mischievous run about and roaming around on his own really feels like falling ill that was a dubious fact she goes ahead and inquires and then comes to know that this kid has fallen in due to a reason and the reason was being backy thatcher thus she provides all sort of medicinal values counseling sessions talking to him it doesn't happen well at the end she provides him with a painkiller that was really fire in a form of liquid my friends that painkiller would have killed any man out there yet Tom started taking that painkiller with an open heart later on in the story we come to know that he was just mending the crack on the floor he wasn't taking in the medicine actually he was pouring it down on the crack on the floor that brings the humor out of this excerpt from the chapter so friends this was a brief from the novel Tom Sawyer this is chapter number nine where it is explained that Tom has got an infatuation for Becky she stops coming to the school and thus Tom's plans a, uh, a mischievous mind of his own and pours in the medicine somewhere which is not to be done so this was a chapter my friends that I've explained today it's from CBSC English Literature class 9th if you want to know something more about this chapter or have some questions 
प्लीज गो अहेड एंड कमेंट एस बिलो सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल माय फ्रेंड्स बिकॉज़ वी हैव गोट अ ह्यूज नंबर ऑफ सब्सक्राइबर्स नाउ एंड वी आर रिसीविंग न्यूमरस कमेंट्स एंड अफर्मेशंस फ्रॉम योर एंड माय फ्रेंड्स वी प्रोवाइड डेटा ऑनलाइन एंड पर्सनल ट्यूटर आल्सो प्रोवाइड्स यू डेटा ऑन रिक्वेस्ट इन पेन ड्राइव्स माय फ्रेंड्स सो दिस इज केविन लोपेस थैंकिंग यू साइनिंग ऑफ टुडे